So Apple has just released the iOS 18 beta 4 for developers. Although Apple intelligence is still not included, this beta brings several exciting noteworthy updates. Stick around as we dive into the key features and improvements in iOS 18 beta 4. iOS 18 beta 4 introduces eight new wallpapers for the CarPlay available in both light and dark modes. These wallpapers are inspired by the latest iOS 18 wallpapers for iPhone users. You can easily download the new car CarPlay wallpapers from iOS 18 beta 4 from the link in the description if you are interested. But after that, there's another new feature called controls menu option that's been added to the camera settings. According to Apple, this feature allows you to retain the last used camera tool when expanding the controls menu. Instead of just displaying the entire list of camera tools, you can access this easily within the settings under the camera app you guys can turn this on but besides that there's another update on the flashlight ui which was previously exclusive to the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 15 pro is now also good news available on the iphone 15 and the 15 plus so previously it was only available to the pro versions now it is available also on the regular versions of iphone 15 and the 15 plus another feature that is updated or i guess refined is the books app Books app features a minor interface update. Books in the continue section right here now display with a black background. Just a little bit tweak, but it looks really, really nice. Also in the lock screen, icon has been redesigned for when the iPhone mirroring is active. I personally haven't been able to test this out because this is when you are accessing your iPhone with your Mac. Personally, don't have the Mac, Mac OS Sequoia, so that's why I haven't been able to test, but this is a really nice feature. But besides that, guys, the hidden apps folder in the app library has received a slight design update uh, previously it used to be just like this eye icon with the cross out on top of it now it's just blurred out it looks like just like any other section in the app library but it's just blurred out completely which is really nice another thing is another good news is that rcs support has been extended to several new carriers including the fit of canada so if you're in canada it's a good news or orange spain if you're in spain orange uk rogers canada t-mobile so on and so forth it's now good to see that a lot of the carriers are ad adopting the rcs being able to text the android users using rcs is a really really nice and you get their reactions when they react when they like or love your text messages you get it as like the native iMessage which is really nice but last but not least the stocks app icon has been updated with a new design right here as you guys can see it's a subtle change but I think it looks a lot better and also when it is in dark mode it just looks slightly different but in a good way but at the end of the day guys what we are still waiting for iOS 18 beta 4 does not unfortunately include any Apple intelligence features yet as expected since Apple's AI suit is scheduled to to launch this fall for compatible devices uh, apple made this you know clear in their presentation but nonetheless guys this is pretty much it i hope this video was helpful if you are new to ios 18 and want to get a sense of the software check out this video right here where i show you guys how to install the ios 18 beta and this video over here for finding out 10 hidden features on ios 18 thanks again for watching i'll catch you guys next video peace out